What up guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so today we're gonna go and install my new rear subframe bushings. I went ahead already and pulled off the back wheels and put the car on jack stands. And let me go show you what the new subframe bushings look like. So originally I had, I got energy suspension rear subframe bushings for my car. Couldn't really find good directions on how to install it. I accidentally cut too much of the original subframe bushings and my subframe actually slips. So I got a lot of wheel hop. So I went ahead and ordered um, these uh, rear subframe bushings from GK Tech. Pretty good stuff. I decided not to get the solid subframe bushings because I like a little bit of comfort. But these look damn near promising way better than the energy suspension some frame bushings so we're gonna go ahead and um we're gonna go ahead and walk through a little bit of what it takes to install these rear subframe bushings you're gonna have to drop the exhaust partial of it the drive shaft disconnect the rear shocks uh disconnect the rear brake calipers rear brake lines and then should be able to drop down last time i actually had two jacks doing this um it's just gonna be me and this one jack maybe a little bit bit of help from my brother he's not too busy so yeah we'll go ahead and do that Alright, here we go. A little update of where we're at. Drive shaft's out. Um, exhaust is out. Calipers are hanging. Shocks are disconnected. Uh, rear brake cables disconnected. And we're just about ready to go ahead and lower the subframe. Yeah, not too shabby. Not too shabby. a little bit scary so frames back on Should reattach everything lock it down and uh call it a day
I'm just gonna end it right here and put everything back together and then uh yeah we'll see you to the next video uh let you know what's going on with the car in the next video so uh yeah stay safe stay home wash your hands subscribe peace out